things. And so the question I have for you is when you take your last breath, right? Because the ultimate statistic is 10 out of 10 people are going to die. So when you take your last breath, what's going to happen to you? You'll be dead. You're, what's, you're going to be dead and what's going to happen to you? I don't know. I'll tell you, it's going to be an eternity, friend. It's going to be eternity in heaven or eternity in hell. Let me ask you, are you what's your name? What's your name? Uh, Arvel. Arvel. I don't think, okay. I, okay, you said it's Arvel. I'm going to trust you. Arvel. Arvel in the peach shirt. What school are you from? Uh, New Canaan Country School. Where at? Uh, Connecticut. Connecticut. Oh, great. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Arvel, do you think you're a good person? Okay, would you like to take the good person test for me? Sure. Okay. So Arvel folks is from Connecticut. He's going to take the good person test. All right, Arvel, let me ask you a question. Have you ever told a lie? Uh, yeah. And what do we call people who tell lies? Liars. Liars, right? Have you ever, Arvel, hey, have you ever stolen anything regardless of the value? Now, wait a minute. You told me you're a liar, so should I believe you? Oh. Right? I don't know. Have you ever downloaded maybe an MP3 you didn't pay for? Maybe take out, come on now, you said you're a liar. But if you steal something, what do you call somebody who steals something? A thief, a thief right? So we're going a liar, a thief. All right, well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever used God's name as a curse word? Maybe stub your toe in the middle of the night and say, oh, you know, GD or JC, right? And so that's called blasphemy, using God's name in vain. Have you ever been mad at somebody where you said, oh, I hate that person? You just hated somebody. Jesus says, if you've hated somebody in your heart, you've already committed murder. Okay. Right? And so, so so, we're not even through all the Ten Commandments, and Arvel, by his own admission, is a lying, thieving, blaspheming murderer. <laughs> now, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I, that's what he admitted to me, right? That's what he admitted. So, Arvel, hey, 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 what, so, so what should God do with him? If God is a good judge, what should God do with him that broke, what, what should God do? Go ahead. Heaven or hell? Uh, hell? What? But, but it doesn't matter. He broke God's law. So let me ask you a question. What's your name, brother? Jonathan. Hi, John. I'm Jason. So let me, Jonathan, let me ask you a question. If, if I go in, if, 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 say, I go into a courtroom and I commit a bad crime and I tell a judge I really didn't know what I was doing at the time and I, I throw an excuse out, would that judge be a good judge just to let me go for no reason? No, but if we're all God's children. We're not all God's children. Listen. But, but, but listen, he does love us, and he proved that on the cross. You see, friends, listen, Jonathan, listen, I'm telling you the truth, friend. Listen, we're not all God's children. Read 1 John chapter 3. 1 John chapter 3, the, John says there's children of God and children of the devil. John says that, not me. John says that. Jesus, the easy, there's even people in the Bible referred to as, they say you're of your father, the devil. So the way, have you ever heard the term adopted child of God? Have you ever heard that term? You're adopted. What's adopted mean? You have to be adopted from somewhere else. And so, friends, as, as Arvel just proved, listen, we're all sinners. All of us short of the glory of God. And God's Son was crushed on a cross so that we could be forgiven of our sins. And the way we get in on that is we turn in repentance and faith. Repentance means to turn away from and to turn towards God and to trust Jesus Christ for who He is and what He's done. And it's only through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no other way, not through Islam, not through the Roman Catholic Church, not through Mormonism, not through Jehovah's Witnesses, but through Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone.